Many of you have reached out to me over the last couple of days with my sessions expressing, you know, I, I'm starting in a very bad place. I, I'm not very active. I can't stand for long periods. So I just want to do a very quick seated session, give you a few recaps, something you can just follow along and, and listen to me ramble less. So you're seated in a chair that's going to get you at a good 90 degree angle. Um, your feet are up on your platform and I'd like you to start with your feet closer to the center. Get your, your machine going in a mid to higher speed range. Avoid the slower frequencies or, or levels that you're working with. We're not doing balance exercises today and those, those slower ranges are more about balance and stability. So I'd like you to get your machine going. Again, at a mid to a, a bit of a higher freak speed range, depending on what you're working with machine-wise and, and how long you've been using it. For those of you just starting out, I want those feet close to the center. Depending on how you feel today, uh, what you're dealing with, if you want to stand with your, or position your feet a little bit wider, you'll notice the intensity change. You are always in control. If it's too much action, bring them closer. If you want more action, widen them up. That simple, okay? So I, I would suggest if you're just wanting to get some lymph moving, loosen up the legs, you're, you're stagnant, you need some energy, you gotta go somewhere and you need to pick me up before you do so, just sitting like this for probably two to three minutes is, is really gonna do a lot for the lower legs. Uh, you're gonna feel it primarily up to the mid thigh, uh, de depending on the angle of, of how you are sitting. If you wanna add a little bit of upper body, I would say after about the one and a half to two minute mark, Add your hands. You can lock up your elbows on this. You're not bearing weight and doing a push-up or anything of that nature. Lean into it a little bit more and you'll feel it more in the neck and the shoulders. Try this for 30 seconds to a minute. If you're finding you're getting a little itchy on the nose or it's shaking the head a little too much, take a break, but keep the lower legs still going. I want you to get about a good two to three minutes on the legs anytime that you're using it in this fashion, okay? If you feel you're up for it and you want to incorporate a little bit of standing, you, you could progress to a sit to stand and sit back down. But if you're just using it in a seated position, two to three minutes is probably sufficient to get that lymph in the lower body activated and moving to give you a lift that you need. If you want to do a little bit more upper body but a little bit more intense than adding the hands, you can just lean over and put those elbows on the knees. If it's too much head shake, just lean forward a little bit. Your elbows should be in line with your shoulders and your knee, your, your head shouldn't be uh, moving very much at all. Just try and relax. Don't fight the vibration. If you find this is too aggressive on the upper body, but okay on the legs, bring the feet closer and reduce the amount that the, the upper body is moving with your feet. You want more? Widen it up, okay? You could proceed like this for anywhere from, you know, a minute to two minutes, max on the upper body. And you may want to do it in reps, you know, 10, 15 seconds. You don't want to get a head rush. Make sure you're breathing. Again, just as a recap, two to three minutes in a seated fashion like this. To start some mild upper body, we're going to lock those arms. 30 seconds to a minute, perhaps in addition. If you want a little bit more action, you've got better range of motion. Come down to the elbows. If it's too much shaking, too much intensity on the head, bring the feet closer. If it's not enough intensity, you want more shaking on the head, widen up the feet. Just make sure you keep the neck, head, and shoulders relaxed. It's not about fighting or resisting it. 